now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So... What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable. And he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards. And I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be.
Here, I got... Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. I'm super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the proof and we are good. And look at those girls. You know it will be worth it. Everyone's going to be beyond shocked. Oh, it's so wonderful. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York-based law firm Morgan, Yates & Co. has been among the most and the most controversial companies. Hey, how you doing? She's been living alone here for what? Sounds like Yates don't retire. He can pretend he's going to be a full-time winemaker, but if he's leaving Morgan Yates and Co., it's because he has a better offer. He's a founding partner in the most powerful law firm on earth. How do you top that? Hola, senor. He's been burning the midnight oil, and he's not pressing for a case. Yates isn't winding down. He's gearing up. How are you, sir? Ah, that explains it. I did mention to you that you were talking to the other. But you are a cuckoo, I. Fishing is fine. Gracias, senor. Enjoy All right the party. There. Does that mean there's a plan A, one, one where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught? I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this burnt woman? But if I'm going to be one of these heralds, so you need to start letting me in on it. Okay. So who's this fool guy? I'm more of a beer man myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play the modern boss, <laughs> no, no, I, I don't actually Has this never framed an urban Edward legend before? Pretty post-truth. Plus, he I has like a reason to come here. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I say Yates is at the top of a very short. So, how do you feel? 
about her? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. Tell me you need him, son. Tell me you need him. I grew up here. How you been? And welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? Corporal Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. It's not unreasonable. Think about it. Duval was kidnapped by the militia. Long time no see. Hey, bud. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? But how could she be a herald? Maybe Vidal will put her down instead. Over here! You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well. We're all here, it seems, except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, 
I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. At a boy. We try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Johannesburg calls, and from that murky field, I saw Peter I saw something far grander. I saw the land, and the land of men goes a long to make way. I grew up here. These majestic thrones were my children. Senor Vargas, what? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes, hey, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <laughs> Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. I bet they're talking about Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. 
Now, let's see. The only inky black color. Good size, large and firm. ¿Quieres una menta? Pues la necesitas. Now, let's see. The only inky black color. Good size, large and firm. Seeds, brown. Excellent. And finally, paste. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are right for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? Que tengas I un buen día. have a third to contact. Will do. Hello, wine lover. Hello. Welcome to hey. the Yates. Mm. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Lucky. Plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Well, Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically rare and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. They 
Queso. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. So, this is what the little guy feels like. No, all good. Looks like one for the mat. Now, is there any more questions? Don't be shy. What can you tell me about this Grape Crusher? Well, as the name implies, it crushes the distilled grapes into a thick pulp or must by a powerful rotating cylinder. She is one of the most important appliances in our production pipe. Have you had any workplace accidents? What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, if you ask me. <laughs> yes, well, fortunately, we have had none of that. So, if there's no further questions. <laughs> Why me? Why me? It's just one of those days. <sighs> Must turn. To your colleague. Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Excelente. Let's continue to the barrel room. If you'll follow me. So, are you associates with Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. Are you enjoying your development, Frank? It's all very inspiring. I could see you retire to a place like this. Winemaking speaks to your meticulous nature. Surely you don't plan to be Yates' fixer forever. I have been told recently to think about the future. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, it's Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine Herald the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, 
To prep the 1945 Grand Paladin, bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What if an alien lad on the front lawn? Without the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it already. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you. Good evening. Forty-five Grand Paladin? It is perfection. Irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1940... Five Grand Paladin, Mona Lisa! Men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. Okay. I can't wait to tell my friends about that! I'm sorry about I'm that. I'm fine, Sam. Hey, no, it's just... What if we exchange the 1945 so Grand... Ah, uh, you are devious, Santino. But, no. If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy...
Hey, flowers! Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. What the hell? You want a piece of me? Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting off. I'm gonna need to frisk you if you want to come through here. You seem nervous. You got something to hide? Okay, man. Vamos. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system. Effect. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. And thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable, because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood! And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom! Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Oh, I Absolutely. agree. Yes. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what You're lying, you of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. 
You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? I'm in. Yes. yes. I agree. Yes, I'm in. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue Agent 47. Revenge for her changing sides. This is what we were all protecting. Yes. Yes. I agree. A toast then, in her honor. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you. We are in this together. One goes down, we all go down. Here's Remember my loyalty. loyalty. You never saw a thing. Not a damn thing. gonna hurt me a lot. Hello, sir. Took you long enough. Quick, clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long.
good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edward? trust you please it will keep me awake at nights and i'm 65. i get up four times to piss as it is no it's simple really edwards is proud he considers himself the cleverest man alive and yet we tricked him on isle of scale and it's eating him up he needs to win full unequivocal victory my recruitment was just the feather in his cap by the way you were right about one thing Yeah, I'm all ears. You asshole! Uh, you just stand there! No. Shoot her! were dead on. Uh, I will be constant. Uh, and I will make it my mission uh, to tear down problems uh, brick uh, by brick. Uh, Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh.
you do? I don't know. Iconic. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47.